Our Vegas fantasy. Our Vegas fantasy. It's not a show about sex. It's about football. Cha cha cha. Oh, it's about football, all right. I kind of wish it was about sex at this point. Oh, That's another no. story. Oh, Kenny, did you have a bad week? It's not good out there. I just, I just, I just doodled. By the way, that's why that you had that heard that noise. I just, I, I literally just hit the piano for no reason. No reason. No reason. But yeah, it was. It's been. This has been the hardest year. By the way, I'm Kenny Davidson. Oh hi, I'm Christina. Yeah, you, you know, know us. us by now. Yeah, you. Yeah. Well, I, if you're listening to us, I mean, if you're new to this show, you know that we are here to to uh, uh, bitch and moan about fantasy football and give you mediocre fantasy and give football. you and, and give you over and give you mediocre fantasy football advice. That is what we do. Absolutely, especially if you want to go if you want to go under 500 literally every week like I've been going. Uh, you you uh, come and listen to us because we know what we're doing. So what what did you go this week, Kenny? Like 17 and 26, something like that. Actually, it's, it's, you know, there are two leagues I don't know if I won because Fantrax is still down. That's crazy. Fell. Uh, I, and one of those is a good team. So it's like I want to see the win. I'm pretty sure I want it, but I, I don't know say, for sure. You kind of know. Well, right? no, because, know. because, because, like, I'm up against Scott Teeple. His team is good. Now, he had Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen, who both kind of underwhelmed. They weren't. Terrible, but they are, they're underwhelmed. So, I think I beat them, but I don't know. So yeah, I think I beat uh, Kevin this week in our fan tracks. Right, we think. We think. Yes, but we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We'll find out. Apparently, not even till the weekend. That's what we're hearing. So you know. But I went three and two this week. That's are good. Not bad. You're all. You you've been. You have been mostly completely. Lucky with injuries. You have one league where you're beat up. Yeah. But for the most part, you've avoided it. In a year where nobody's avoided it. I sure as hell haven't avoided it. And the, the the weird thing was, is I remember when I was drafting and I told you that I wanted to try to take players from like all different teams all right. over the place. Like, I don't did. have too many like of the same players. Like I only have one of Aaron Jones. I have one of Zeke. I had one of Barkley, you know. Right. Like I, I had a good and, – and I've – gotten pretty luck i don't know lucky or maybe i just have other players i can plug in i i, I don't know i've been all right right now in, yeah. the, in the league that i just lost aaron jones i have antonio gibson so i'll be able to just plug him in you mean dalvin cook i mean i'm sorry yeah yeah right okay dalvin cook right yeah you antonio gibson and it's and it's a one week entry probably for cook but we'll get to that and yeah, then yeah. in dubai and we'll get dubai. we'll yeah. get to that all so uh let's talk about uh what went right uh, Mr. Patrick Mahomes always goes right. Always goes right. Yes, right. How are you feeling now that you took him first overall in the New York League? I love it. You're happy with I'm that, really right? I'm really happy with it. You took it. Eckler. That's a league you're beat up in because you took Eckler. Yes. But you, uh, but you're you're three and two, if I remember right. Yeah, and I right? mean, I think I lost this week, but I. And I was in second place, but it knocked me down to like sixth place. Okay. This loss. Right. Which, oh, yes, which I'm kind of bummed about. So, right. but I'm still like doing very well in the league. Right. Are you three and oh, two? Oh, no, I lied. I, I'm in third place. I, okay. I don't know what I was talking about. So you, but you, and you're three and two. Yeah, I'm in three and two. In so. a league where you took a quarterback in, as your third pick. I know. We had, talked, so, we had talked about this, and then I'm okay with it. Yeah, I think we need to, like, you know, the whole, there's a lot of narratives that you get from the fantasy community that, that I think need to die. You know, there are ways to win. There are other ways to win than the traditional running back, running back, wide receiver. If you, you know, if you took Patrick, Patrick Mahomes early, you probably don't have a bad team. I have a, I have two Patrick Mahomes teams that are three and two. So, you know, it's like it, it, you can win that way. Yeah. Now, if you took Lamar Jackson first, eh, you're probably not doing so hot. Yeah. But well, anyway. I, I did lose Eckler, but I picked up Davis. Mike Davis. Wow. So he's been crazy. Holy good. boy. That is. My number one mistake of 2020. Of not getting him? Not getting him. Oh, yeah. I didn't bid enough. It's not that I didn't try. In my McCaffrey lease, I didn't bid enough. Yeah. And in Fantrex, he went for like $500 yeah. or yeah. something crazy. And I thought I bid a lot on him. Yeah. But I think I, w- I want to say I bid like three or four hundred dollars, and I lost out. I was like, okay, you can have them. Yeah, all the, all the weeks. all these sites that are saying bid fifteen percent of your Fab budget. You're not getting these players for fifteen no, percent. No, you're not. You get you got to spend forty. 
Oh yeah. That's what you learn. Like these things that they're saying, oh, fifteen percent of your fat budget. No, no, it does. You're not getting them for that. Especially if not you only have them. at this point, you only had fifty dollars or you know eighty dollars yeah. left. You, right. you can't spend seven dollars and expect to get these. You're players. not gonna get them. No, absolutely if you not. Really, really need them. Spend the money. Right. Do it because you might not have the opportunity next week. I'll tell you. I, I we'll talk about a uh, uh, super flex league. That one, the one league I have Dak Prescott in is a super flex league. Ooh. I have to. I have to bet on Dalton. I have to. Bl- I have to blow my money. I, I mean, right. That's I don't what have, I have a choice. Do in, that's what I have to do in our dynasty league. Right. And right. I have more money than the Dak Prescott owner. So guess Whoa! who's doing that this week? Whoa! This girl. Let's talk. Hey, strategy, uh, little strategy. Speaking of quarterbacks, uh, we have you know every year there's a late round quarterback that becomes a that becomes a guy that can win you a league. Um, this guy was not even drafted in 99 percent of leagues, but he's winning leagues. Justin Herbert, and again, just there's the eye test. You look at a guy. This guy is great. Yeah. I love watching him play already. I do too. He's right? The, he's the youngest quarterback in NFL history with four passing touchdowns on a Monday night football game. Oh my God. Isn't that cool? He, and they didn't win the game. It's a shame, but because they, you know, they, they are still the Chargers after all. Yeah. Right? And they yes. find ways to lose. Yes, of course. But boy, this guy looks good. Oh, it's fun. Fun game to watch too. Yeah. Really. Terrific. Uh, Chase Claypool. Ooh. Ooh, four touchdowns. I'll take it. Yeah. He's on my bench of course he, nobody in started him nobody started him he's, he's just starting, going yeah. off on my bench but here's the thing we're all gonna bid on him and, and for right rightly so i mean this is like he's he's gonna be he's the pickup of the week but you realize that for his entire career he probably will never have a game like this no no like this right this is it this was his best game of his career in game four of the nfl season of, the, of his season right I mean, yeah. he's still going to be good. Especially if uh, Deontay Johnson. Well, yeah, Deontay Johnson. And you also got the juju issue. The juju the issue. The juju issue, which Whoa. is that he's not the number one receiver there. Yeah. So. Might, might get dicey, guys. Yeah. Uh, Travis Fulgham. Who? 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 No, I, I know who this is. Because he's, he's an eagle. That's why you know I know, know who this is. Well, the funny thing was, is before Kenny came over for the Sunday night game last week, I literally had to read off the wide receivers for uh, the Philadelphia Eagles because we did not know who they were. Right. So I read them in a little backstory on them, and Travis Fogum was one of them two weeks in a row with there a touchdown. Go. He has great chemistry with Wentz. I like it. Yep. There you go. I like it a lot. And look who's back from the dead. Brandon Cooks. He's alive. <sighs> After we've all dropped him. Yeah. He's back. And I mean, you know, next week he's just going to get a big old Of course he is. Three. Right? Man, oh. Kenny is pissed. Oh, yeah. he's, he's become one of my least favorite players. Yeah. That's not just this year. There, I, I, there was a year where I went, I think four years ago, where I was like all in on Cooks and Cooper in the same year. I'm like, these are my guys. And they both killed it in week one. And then you'd see weeks where they would just disappear. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> and I've always been a little bit, like, down on Cook since that. So. Good for him, man. Yeah, well, he came back. Yeah. Adam Thielen. Don't write him off yet. Nope. Two touchdowns, nine receptions, 80 yards. He was targeted a team high 13 times, too. Yep. And he was good. He's been good the last two weeks. Yeah, no, he's solid. He's, yeah. I still think now this turns into the old Thielen Diggs thing. Now it's, and now it's just the Thielen Jefferson thing. Who's going who's gonna to have the week? Which now they both they're playing Atlanta this week, so they both have the week. But but geez, that's what you're getting, right? Hopefully. Yeah. Thielen should be the star here. What is going on, buddy? Who else is back from the dead? We should call the segment "Back from the Dead." Mike Williams. Another one on my bench. Well, sure. Not even rostered in a lot of leagues. He's available out there. Yeah. Yeah. 109 yards and a touchdown. There you Five go. receptions. And Keenan got hurt, so. You know, I mean, it looks like Keenan will be back after the bye. The bye that wasn't supposed to be this week, but every, the whole schedule got shuffled around. This is supposed to be Chargers Jets this week. I don't even know who's playing this I week. know. Yeah, it's seriously. They've cha- they changed everything. Mm-hmm. And they got the game in on Tuesday. So we're so far so good. I haven't missed the game yet. Uh, the second, there are two wide receivers, fourth round wide receivers that are league winners. If you have them, you're probably doing well. One is Calvin Ridley. And the other is DK Metcalf. Yeah, yeah. Outstanding. Two touchdowns, six receptions, 93 yards. 
I will take it. Yeah, I'll bet you will. Mike Davis. Do we need CMC when Mike Davis is playing like this? So what happens when CMC comes back? That's yeah, still CMC's job. I Mike Davis goes back to five carries a week. Which sucks. Well, that's what he is. He's a backup. That's what he does. He's playing great. But he's not like I unless if you if Mike Davis is still getting ten to twelve touches a week, what that tells you is that CMC is not fully healthy. If CMC's healthy, Mike Davis is is a, is a pure backup. That's all it is. Yeah, but he's he looks good. He looks great. And hey, if you spent a lot on your fab budget, you are happy. And he's a guy that you need to spend forty percent. If you didn't spend forty percent, you didn't get him. Right. There's lessons learned about fab. <laughs> Todd Gurley doesn't seem to go away, does he? No. He, Bad knee and all. And he looked good. Yeah. And they're playing Minnesota next week. Yep. He's, produ- he's producing. He is. Whether and, and in a year where running backs are back to being what they normally are, which yeah. is skanktastic, Skank. right, or awful. Yep. So, uh, Daryl Henderson. That's another one. Yep, came back after not being played, not not being used a lot in week four. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, he's used in week five. But Cam Akers. Nine carries, sixty-one yards. Coach comes out after the after the game and says we want to use more Cam Akers. Uh, Don't know what it means. It's just so unpredictable. It is completely unpredictable. And like how how yeah yeah how do you even go? Do you just throw a dart? You throw a dart. Or whoever you have, do are you even playing them at this point? I mean, it's so I have risky. I got one. I got to start sit that we'll get to. Like it's gonna be Daryl Henderson or Kenyon Drake. We'll talk about it. I have my answer. And Travis, Travis Kelsey's he's bad. Alive. Yeah, he's alive. Another he's, one. He's, he's, he's never bad. So let's do our favorite. Who crapped the bed? Did you crap the bed? Did I crap the bed? Did I crap the bed? Jenny, you crap the I bed. I crap the bed. We all want to know who crap the bed. Crap the bed. Who crap the bed? I.e. the Daniel Jones segment of the show. No, Kenny, he always craps the bed. He didn't crap the bed yet last year. No, but for this this, this year. season, yeah, that's why I said he's, it's the Daniel Jones segment because this year he is the perennial bed crapper. I I told you this in the beginning of the year, and you were like, "Oh, I like Daniel Jones this year." He was good last year. He was horrible. He was not horrible no, last I year. I think he's horrible. I don't think he's a good player. There are a lot of players that we don't think are good players and end up being good fantasy performers. It well, happens he's all the time. He is neither. Right now, he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's- that's all I have to say about it. Right, that. fine. Matt Ryan. Ugh, he's getting a little frustrating the last couple weeks. I hope now with the coaching change that things change and that he'll be all right. He needs Julio Jones back. That's all there is to it. Yeah. There's no no coincidence that that his, his numbers are declining with Julio out. And Calvin trying to be number one. It's it's not it's not happening for him. No. Yeah. Uh Joe Burrow got a lesson. Playing the oh, uh, yeah, Baltimore did. Ravens. He looked like a rookie. He looked like uh, a guy playing the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. <laughs> that they know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Welcome to the NFL, Joe. Yep. There you go. That's all right. Now, you know, Joe Burrow's a tough one this week because he's playing Indianapolis, who's just as good defensively as anybody this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, with DK Metcalf on the fantasy highs, you have, for the second straight week, Tyler Lockett on a milk carton. Four receptions, 44 yards. Yeah. That's it. Not good. That's it. And on bye this week. And yeah, and they have a bye week. Yeah. Womp womp. And that's just maybe what it is this year. He might have games where he's, it's it's not his week. Which is sad because he's, he's a good player. He's a good player, but Metcalf's clearly the number one now, so mm-hmm. it's it's clear. Uh, very hyped up. I played him everywhere, and boy, did I, that killed me. Mr. Justin Jefferson. Oh, I skipped one. We'll get to it. But Justin Jefferson. Yep. On the crap the bed list this week. 23 with yards. That, with Adam Thielen being good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Terry McLaurin, his first bad week of the year. He needs a good quarterback. Well. <laughs> it is such a mess in Washington. Yeah. And I really like McLaurin. Oh, I he's... really, really like him. And I feel bad for him. McLaurin is a top 10 talent at receiver. It's right. not a question. And it's so sad. Yeah. He should be like killing it this year. Yeah, you know where? Well, we- he was. He, he really he, last two weeks, two, three, and four. He was doing fantastic. Week five, he stunk. Week one, he was all right. Week two, three, and four, he's great. Yeah, like he's 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 still among the top in receiving for the year. He he needs to be on the Philadelphia Eagles. No, listen. That would be great. 
<laughs> you should go. You should trade for AJ Green. That's what you should do. I don't know if he's any good anymore, but but you know if you need a receiver that badly, yeah. right? Yeah. I you think AJ Green's gonna make it past the trade deadline because I sure don't. Mm-mm. Not on the Bengals. I don't. No. no. Anyway, Amari Cooper, first time of the first, year on. Yeah, her. we'll give it to you. Yeah, we'll but, give it to you. We know Amari. This is what happens. Now, boy, the Cowboys are going to be interesting now. Oy. After being such a dynamic offense. That and could losing hold. almost every and losing, game. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's another story. But, man. Uh, this guy's not so widely owned, but I put him on here anyway because I have him everywhere. Josh Kelly. You know, he rushed 11 times. Yeah. But he 29 only got yard, 29, 29 yards. yards. Yeah. Not good. And Justin Jackson was good. Yeah. Yeah. That really bothers me because – Right, you see him getting the ball. It's not just that, but like, I have I I took Kelly in my Eckler leagues, right? So I lose Eckler. I'm like, all right, well I have Kelly. I think I'll survive. Nope, I don't. Right? And you can't like roster both of them because how many people are going to roster? Yeah. You can't roster both Jackson and Kelly when you've got other players on your roster. You can't. You can't have. You don't have that luxury. You so you have to waste... risk yeah. that Kelly's going to be good, and then he sucks. Then what do you do? Well, that's that's a lot of luck there, Kenny. Yeah. I'm not arguing this here. <laughs> it's literally my saving grace this year. George Kittle, after killing you the week before. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he crapped the bed. Crapped the bed. Yep. Um, now we have ir- – I'm going to give you two drop candidates uh, at tight end this year. I literally was going to ask you this. Tyler Higby. And looks, there's no coincidence here. His one good game, Everett was out. Yeah. And last year, when he was good, Everett was out. There's no coincidence here. It's clear. So why, where was the the hype around Tyler Higby? The type, what, the hype with Tyler Higby was you look at him, and you look at how good he like he, he's talented. But it's the usage. They don't. He didn't run route. He's not running routes. Yeah. So like it's not it's not that he's not a good player. It's not his fault. It's his usage. Right. If now. If you drop him, which I, you know, look, t- tight end, it's back to being its usual crap. Accessible. So, like, it's accessible. So, like, if you drop Higby, be aware that if Everett gets hurt again, he's an automatic, I got to go get the guy. Right? Yeah, he's like an insurance policy. So, I feel like if you have room on your bench and you could find another tight end to start, I, I feel like, you know, that's what you do. I don't think anyone has room on their bench this year. Well, that's the thing. That's the problem. You're right. I mean, this year, I mean, I literally, I have one league where it's like all red. Yeah. It's like questionable, doubtful, questionable IR, COVID. It's like, you can't even, you can't even stash players this year. No. It's really, really hard It's really tough. It's, you know, not in a six-man bench. It's really, really difficult. It's one thing if you're in the NFFC and you have a 10-man bench. But on a six-man bench or a seven-man bench, it's really, really hard to stash yeah. players. So, uh, another and another tight end that you know, again, I mean, we we talked about Hayden Hurst. I was like, I, I'm a little concerned. Why didn't this guy break out with Baltimore a year ago? We have we talked about this in the preseason, yeah. right? Well, there's a reason. He ain't he's not good. No. Right. Dry. It's just frustrating. Yeah. And the biggest one of all, Zach Ertz. He didn't just crap the bed. He has, like, diarrhea. Yeah. Like, chronic diarrhea. Yeah. Like, what do you do? What do, what do I do with Zach Ertz? I don't You dr- can't bench him. You can bench him oh. for... Not, Dal- not many people. I don't know who you can bench him for. I, you know, like, if I had Tanyan this week, I think I'd play Tanyan over him. Um Gusecki? I don't know Gasecki. Gasecki's like Gasecki's week to week. I know. I probably would play Ertz right. if over Gasecki. I might, because you don't know Gasecki. Gasecki could literally be garbage week to week, right? What about well now Schultz? Another one. Like I, I mean, I lie picked Schultz up a lot, but now Dak's hurt. Right. We so don't know what, what Schultz is going to be. I'm probably still holding. I'm probably still starting. I mean, I'm start, probably starting Ertz most places. Which is so now I I tell you what in our Vegas league in our auction league our friends. I have him and Hawkinson. I'm playing Hawkinson. Yes. That I'm doing. That I'm okay. With. Yeah. Like Noah Fant, yes. And what's the latest on Dallas Goddard? Still an IR. Now, when he comes back, that'd be interesting when he comes yeah, back. Yeah. Now, when he comes back, is this opening more room for Gertz? For, 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 I'm that, sorry, Gertz. For, Gertz? For Ertz or 
I don't know. Like, is he getting such tight coverage because because every defense knows he's the only viable wide receiver on the Philadelphia Eagles? I think let's see when Jeffrey comes back and when Rager comes back and when Goddard the comes back. The whole freaking team comes back. Ertz is not Ertz is not a kid anymore though. Let's let's also face facts here. And you know he's not he's not a kid. Um, Dalton Schultz not a good week, but we talked about this like it's. You know, they lost Dak, and he probably wasn't part of the game plan to begin with. And the Giants are actually pretty good against tight ends this year, which is a weird stat that you never w- would think. But, Who do they yeah. play this week? The Dallas Cowboys? Yeah. Who do the Dallas Cowboys play this week? They play the Arizona Cardinals this week is who they play. Really? Yes. Mm-hmm. Who are a little better at tight ends than they used to be. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm starting them. Yeah. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Um. Now... This guy, you know, we don't put injured players in crap the bed, but he's really destroying people. And that's Deontay Johnson. What do you do with Deontay Johnson? Like, it's one thing, people get hurt, but you start the guy and he gives you 0. 0.8. Oh. And then the week, and then the next week's a bye, and then he comes back and he gives you 0. 0.7. Yeah. What do you do? Here's the, here's the interesting stat, though. He's still the most targeted wide receiver. By far. You know why? The guy gets open. That's why. That's why. Which it's like every week it's going to be a different wide receiver with these crazy numbers. I my that's the problem. This you week have. it was Claypool. Next week it will probably or be Juju. The week after that, then it will be Deontay Johnson. Right. And he's not practicing today. It's Wednesday. Don't know. Uh, what do you do with Mark Ingram? Another one. He leads the team in rushing. But he hasn't. He's he's only had more than eleven carries once in a game. Right. Doesn't get the ball much. Yeah. They're also a little they're a little off offensively. I had a ten team league where I had to swap players out because of COVID and worried about the, the Josh Allen game. Believe it or not, I Justin Herbert was still available. So I took Josh Allen out and I put Justin Herbert in. Oh, I, I wow. won. I was, that's the one time where I took Josh Allen out and I won. Because Justin Herbert killed it. Yeah. But I had to drop somebody. I'm really deep in this league. I dropped Ingram. Wow. Couldn't believe it. I had to. I had better I have better options. Yeah. He was my he was my sixth running back with all the running backs I have in that league. Well then that's good. Let somebody else deal with him. But I mean he You're does, not starting him. But he has two rushing touchdowns. So yeah. does Dobbins. He has two rushing touchdowns. Yeah. I mean he's still getting touchdowns. He's just not getting really any I feel the fantasy pr- points. The problem is like they're both killing each other. Yeah. But if one of them gets hurt, the other becomes great. Right. 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 So do you, do you hold on to both of them? I don't know. I do think you have I feel both like of them? I guess you don't have. Them. I got Dobbins in a few leagues and I got Ingram in a few leagues. I'm not. I'm. They're both on my bench. Yeah, I didn't draft Ingram. But like, I don't want to. I want them around because you know, like, if Ingram got hurt, what would the first thing we'd be talking about on the waiver wire? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Go get Dobbins. Dig, right. Dig and if Dobbins got hurt, you'd be like, well, you're starting Ingram everywhere. Right. Right. It's like it's just you're stuck. Then you got the Rams backfield. Another mess. Ugh. Right? Henderson, Brown, Akers. I really want to see Akers lead this back. I do too. I'm very I, I listen, I'm I'm very heav- heavily, heavily invested in Akers. Right. Akers Akers getting the touches makes my teams a lot better. That's how I feel about Keyshawn Vaughn. Well, that's not happening in twenty twenty. I know, but again, unless, he's another... unless you got injuries, unless Jones and Fournette get hurt. I know. Keyshawn Vaughn is not a thing this year. I know, but it's yeah. it's almost the same story as Henderson oh, yeah. and Brown. Henderson is the only one in that backfield who has a touchdown. Yep. Yep. And Henderson looks good. Like, the eye test, Henderson looks good. So, it's that, you know, again. I, not, I don't know who to play that. You, you, yeah, I don't know who to play either. I'm probably starting Henderson if I have him this week. Because why not? He produced. But I'm not starting Akers. There are a couple of these I have to start Akers because I'm dead at running back. Mm. But, you know. And we talked about tight ends, about the mess that they are right now. So, back to back to normal. And it's funny because at the beginning of the year we were like, "There's so many there good were. tight ends." There were. No, it's, but half of them suck. It's the same old cesspool like they always are. Yep. Jeez. Yep. Should learn a lesson. Yeah, you should, Kenny. Yeah, well, you should too. Yeah. <laughs> Injuries, news, notes, quandaries. Le'Veon Bell released. By the Jets. So, so here's the question. Why was Le'Veon Bell released and not Gase? I don't know. Can we talk about that, please? I don't know. What? I, I just don't know. 
I mean, a blind person can see just he's the worst coach. He's the worst coach in 20 years. And this is a – in for the Jets. And this is a franchise that had Rich Kotite at one time, former Eagle coach. He came to the Jets. He was 1-15. Oh, my God. He is so beyond God awful. And you don't need to listen to me to tell you this. This is not an original take. No. Like, the guy – can't do the job no. oh. and everybody can see it except for woody johnson and the jets yeah enough why don't left bell um coach keep team right that'd be great where's left bell going that's the question hmm. you know, rumors of the chiefs hmm. that scares me yeah as a ceh guy that scares me mm-hmm. i would love to see the chargers yeah for a few weeks i'd love to see that I think the Bears are an interesting fit. Okay. I would hate the Dolphins because Gaskin's been pretty good. Yeah. But I could see it. I could. I, I, yeah. The Bears make a lot of sense for Bell. Mm-hmm. I like Miami. Miami fits. I don't want to yeah. see it, but it fits. But I don't see Miami taking a contract on when they know where they are as a, as a franchise. True. And the Bears are cheap. So I don't know yeah, about that either. Yeah, they're not going to pay him. I, you, know, you know, Bell, uh, who knows? If Bell's going to get a job, it's interesting. I mean, Bell has not been good. Again, he's with the Jets, but you look at him like he's not good. No, he's, a, he's an old man. He's an old man. Just retire, Bell. No. Yeah, you had, had a good run. Yeah. Stop me if you heard this one before. Dalvin Cook's hurt. No. Yeah, I got hurt. Oh, that's a shame. Doesn't look serious, but they're on a bye in week seven. Which is good. So he might play this week. I'm going to... I don't think he's playing. I'm going to say no. I don't think Let him playing. rest for two weeks. Yeah. Come back after the bye. Just relax, Dalvin yep. Cook. And uh, play but out. Man, did he look good. Oh, he looks great. Oh, he's so fun to watch. Oh, he's great. He's a great player. He just can't stay healthy. Ugh. You know who also looked good is Alexander Madison. Yeah. I like that a lot, too. He's terrific. Mm-hmm. And if you've got him, start him. Mm hmm. Uh, here we go. Here's one we didn't see coming this year Michael Thomas punched a teammate. And what? he's out. He, he got sat for a game, which is insane. Like, get it together. You should not be doing this. We need you. I don't. You know, I don't want to be this guy that like I read Twitter and I'm thinking, or I see people's Twitter handles. And I'm like, ooh, I don't know about this. You read Michael Thomas on Twitter, and you're like, eh, you got a, you got an ego there, don't you? Got you? A, little a little bit of a. A little bit of a, mm, okay. Oh, interesting. I don't know. I, I just, I, you know, can we be done with the with the receivers acting like schmucks? Is it possible? No. Have we not had enough of no. Antonio Brown? No. They're, they're, Randy Moss, Keyshawn Johnson, you know, and like, can we stop with this? They're young. Oh, God, they're I'm successful. sick of this. They have so much money. So are running backs and so are quarterbacks. Why are the receivers jerks? You know what? You're and they're right. not. A lot of them are not. But why does this happen? I mean, DeAndre Hopkins is a great guy, right? There are some good ones. There are a lot of great Cheryl ones. Is a great guy. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of good ones. Why? Why? You know? Yeah. He's a millennial. Is that what it is? <laughs> DJ Chark left the game. Uh, Did not practice today. He's by the just way. be injured all year. He yeah, has been. And it sucks. Yeah. Because we love DJ Chark. I know. Fire up LaVisca Chenault this week. Ooh, what did I tell you? Yeah. Four weeks ago yes. to pick him up on the after midnight. I had two in a row. I had two weeks in a row. I said, if you didn't pick him up last week, pick him up this week. If you don't have him, you shouldn't be, you should be listening to me. That's all I have to say. There you go. Christina <laughs> on the soapbox. I remember she was she was sweet on LaVisca. I we were, was. We were, we were doing After Midnight. She was sweet on LaVisca. So sweet. So sweet that I did it twice in a row yeah. if you didn't listen to me the first sure. week. So I hope y'all listen to me. It's funny because I didn't take my own advice. <laughs> ah! So that second week, I'm like, I should take my own advice. And then I started picking up. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's the funniest thing we've said on this show. <laughs> Jimmy G. Looks like he's going to play this week. Oh, Jimmy. He's going to play. So, he's okay. Yeah. Is, is, is he going to start? Good. Yeah, is he's he going to start. Is he going to start, what, that's, though? That's what it looks like. That's just a mess there. Well, I mean, they're not going to start Bethard. I mean, the, the Jimmy, they're invested in Jimmy G. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's just a, they're just a mess. Yeah, they're a mess. Cam Newton off the COVID list. That's good. Like I read an starting. article that said his dad said he had no symptoms at that's all, good. no COVID system, Thank symptoms. Goodness. So that's really good. Good news. We don't need to be seeing that. Yep. And he was tested positive October 2nd. So, mm-hmm. we, you know, we're like 12 days into this now. I mean, he's already off the list. So good. he must be negative or they must they, know, they must know he's not contagious. I mean, I don't know how that works, but he's not. He's playing Sunday, it looks like. Good. Chris Godwin. He practiced Tuesday. Okay. They play the Packers this week. I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him, too. He's been hurt all year. Because he's been on me. Yep, he's been on my IR a little too long yeah. for my comfort for drafting him in the second, second round. round. Mm-hmm. Hurt all year. Probably no CMC this week. Oh, God. I'm like, sorry. I did not bid enough for Mike Davis. I'm so, that's Aww. like my, that is my, you know, that's my learning. Yeah. It's not that I didn't want him. I tried. I and just it, didn't know. You know, and it's so funny because in fan tracks, I was like, I'm going to bid so much on him. You went for 500. Him. I mean, that's amazing. Right. And right. I think I went for like, I want to say like three, I did something weird, like 366 or something. Right. Pretty. And you didn't get him. Pretty hefty. Yeah. And when I saw how much you went for, I was like, whoa, you can have him. But now looking back, it's like, well, you know. Yeah, actually, you could have used him. We all could have. Yeah. Yeah. My well, Tavis my Murray has been bringing it home for me. For so far. And Chase Edmonds. Yep. My two second string running backs are pulling it out for me. There you go. Pretty good luck this there year. There you go. Julio Jones. Didn't practice today. Yeah, did he practice today? No, he did I not. Got a big old question mark on my sheet. No, he didn't. Another one. Yep. Killer. Killing us. That's killing us. All right. Shall we? That good waiver wire that will set your team on fire. So don't miss fire, or he will go to the highest fire. Don't wait too long, cause you know they expire. You require to aspire the highest waiver wire. Wah, wah, wah. Mm-hmm. Who's your top pick on the waiver wire? Um, Alexander Madison. Yeah, if he's available. I I I have one league he's available. I was gonna say I checked all my leagues and he's not available right. anywhere. I don't know, like. I look at these percentage owned, and I'm like, where is he not owned? He should be 100% owned I mean, after he should this be owned. Week. Well, yeah, I mean, no, you, you, he's, he's owned. It's, just, it's crazy. Yeah. But if, he's, if somehow he's out there, it's a one-week play, but it's not really a one-week play because you're buying a guy that's an insurance policy that is the ultimate insurance policy. And, yeah. I mean, I got one league where I have Madison I don't have Cook. And, well, you know, I'm starting. I tried to trade as a super flex league a week ago. I was dead at quarterback because my quarterbacks are Newton and Garoppolo. I was dead. Right? I had no quarterback. I tried to trade Alexander Madison for Justin Herbert. Oh. Which would have been a nice little trade. And he said no. But now he doesn't. And I tried to trade him to the cook owner. Right? So now the cook owner, he doesn't have cook this week. I have Madison. So there you go. Oh, things sorry. happen. Things happen for a reason, right? Yep. So sorry, not sorry. As a league, I need a running back badly. That's a, my. You know, there there are certain players when they get hurt, they you're you're screwed. Nick Chubb getting hurt is a devastating injury because not for me. Well, well, you didn't have him. No, right. I had Hunt. Like and you have Hunt. Everywhere. Oh yeah, and no, listen, if you have Hunt, but like if you drafted Chubb, you didn't draft Hunt. Right, right. Why would you, you do could, that? Yeah. You, you could. could if you want to spend a fifth round pick right. and a first round pick. But, but you're not you didn't to. do that. No. So it's the leads with, you know, and the, it, the Melvin Gordon, we didn't even get to the news about Melvin Gordon today. Melvin Gordon, DUI. Right? Oh. So here's another guy. Like, Melvin Gordon's been pretty good, but you can't get his handcuffed because in most leagues, Philip Lindsay's owned. Right. Right? So you're screwed yeah. with Melvin Gordon. There are certain players that get hurt. Now, I would talk about Eckler. Like, you had Kelly, but now Jackson shows up. But there are players that they get hurt, and you're, you're screwed. And Chubb being hurt is one of those guys that screws you. Screwed you. you. Know? Screwed me, because I had Chubb. I got Chubb in a lot of leagues. Yeah, I didn't get Chubb I love – listen, I, Chubb was good. I don't care what the, everybody was saying. I thought Chubb was going to lead the league in rushing this year. I still think he could have. He's not going to now. But there's no doubt about that. What's his uh, ETA? Uh, for another three, four weeks. Another three weeks. Yeah, so you're screwed. Yeah. I got to, you know, our Vegas league, my my, uh, my running backs were Barkley and Chubb. You try winning when that happens. Yeah. Right? 
Nothing you can do. Well, I have, I have, I have Jonathan Taylor. Is my, is my I was going to say, yeah. I guess you couldn't get uh, Mike Davis in that league. I tried. Yeah. Got outbid. Uh, there you go. So, anyway, uh, Alexander Madison, number one pick. Chase Claypool. 17% ro- rostered. What you bidding? He's available in all leagues. What are you bidding? Again, like we talked about earlier, you can't say this 15 20 percent i mean if you need if a you receiver want you're gonna have to spend probably 30 35 percent right now do you think he's worth that that's the that's question. the argument right because i think it's going to be every other week it's going to be him or deontay johnson or juju yeah so do you want you need to know you need to realize that going into this and spending all this fab budget on him you might not what you paid for him week to week unless he is your only option and you're like you know what i'm gonna put him in and if he gets me three points he gets me three points if he gets me 20 it will be a bonus Mm -hmm. that's really the only thing that's it so so what's the risk factor that's yeah it's it's also how desperate you are i mean there's certain leagues like oh i need a receiver you're just gonna do it right and hope it works out but then there are leagues where it's more of a luxury and you know i mean i you know i i these you got to spend, like I said, 30, 35 to 45. Right. So and and that leads us to our next waiver wire pick, who I would actually pick over Chase Claypool, which is Travis Fulgham. Wow, really? Yes, because Why I is think this? he is a little bit more – he's going to have more better weeks, like more consistent, I think, because I think he has very good chemistry with Wentz. And you're I not, think – You're not worried about – Jeffrey and Rager and all them. Not really. Wow. Okay. Not really. Interesting. I feel like Wentz has established a rapport with Fulgham. Fulgham. I don't even know how to say his name. Right. Fulgham. Yeah. We're, 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 and I think yeah. it's going. I think it's. I. I don't know. I. I just rather spend my money on Fulgham than I would Claypool. What would you now? Here's the thing. It's not going to take forty to get Fulgham. Exactly, and that's why I like that pick better than Claypool. What would you spend I don't want to spend 40 on Claypool. What would you spend on, on Fulgham? 20. Oh, you'll get him for 20. I don't even think you need it. I, yeah. think, I think you can get him for 10 to, 10 to 15. Yeah. Most leagues. Well, at this point, your budget's so small. Your budget yeah. is small. It's not, you know, you're not spending $20 on him. No. You know. Right. But 10 to 15 bucks, I think you'll get him. So. How, how, what, what are your thoughts on Fulgham? I, you know... I'm in a league with Bucky, that the NFFC league, and we were talking about him. We put a bid, but like I said, the downside is that he's this year's Demarcus Robinson, the guy who has the one great week, and then you never hear from him. He's again. had two great. All weeks. right, but so Demarcus Robinson, and then you never heard from him again. You know, there's same there thing are, could happen to Claypool. Though. Absolutely, no doubt. The difference with Claypool is that Claypool has the pedigree. Claypool is a second round pick, but he also has all those other really good receivers. No doubt about it. Fulgham has nothing. Has not well, I don't think that Rager's nothing when it comes back. Jeffrey, Deshaun Jackson. I'm I'm rolling my eyes. I know, well, you listen, you're the Eagle fan. You watch the games. So you see the guy. And again, I just when a guy comes out of nowhere like that, I'm always a little skeptical that he keeps that up. But I mean he got he definitely should not be on the waiver wire after tonight. Like, he, somebody should pick him up. And I think if you need a receiver, 10 to 15 is a good bid. I think you'll get him. Yeah, I think I just rather would spend less on him because I feel like it's the same risk. It's yeah. just different risks. I totally I totally get your point. Yeah. I totally do. I think that's I think that's wise, too. If LaVisca Chenault's still out there in your league, I would take him over both these guys, yeah. honestly. Yeah. If Chenault's there, I'd rather have Chenault than Claypool, and I'd rather have Chenault than Fulgham. Because he's, like, steady. And, yeah, he, and he's, and he's, he's going to be every week. Yeah. The other guys we don't know about. Chenault, there's nobody competing because Chris Conley, get out of here, right? Yeah, who? Come on, exactly. right? Right? And and Keenan Cole, enough. No. So let's uh let's take a look what's next after Travis Fulgham. Who else can we go get this week? What about Ooh. Well look? All right. I like quarterbacks. this one too. Now look, in a one quarterback league, you're not going nuts for Andy Dalton. Because like there's there's enough quarterbacks out there, you, right. you, you don't need to spend. Right. In a super flex league, here's the ki- that's the question. Yes, 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 yes. I'm happy about it. Like I said earlier, um, I have a budget, yeah. and I have 
Kirk Cousins and I have Tannehill, and that is the only two I have. Yeah, so you're Bye weeks are coming up. Right. I I need this. Yep. The one week that Tannehill didn't play, I had to start Gasecki, and he gave me in your, two points in a super flex. In a, in a super flex, right, and he so gave me go. two points. Yeah. So I need this, and like I said earlier, the poor Dak Prescott owner doesn't have enough money. Wow. Sorry. Wow. Hey, I'm making a move. Better hope that somebody doesn't have more money than you that's going to go bid on it. Well, if, uh, most people see, and at first, so we had to um, vote on how many quarterbacks we wanted to keep on our bench. Right, and there's now a, a four I, limit. There's a four limit, and I liked the idea, and now I don't because I can't get a quarterback to save my life right now. Right, because they're all, everyone's just hoarding the quarterbacks. Well, that's the reason we have a four limit. We used to have a three, you know, a three limit. Then there'd be quarterbacks, but a four limit, like there still should be something out there there's once not. in a while, but there's not. Well, there's but Dalton's not. out there. Oh, I'm getting him. All right. Don't don't even think about it. Guys. Wow. Just don't even think about okay. it. Okay. Hundred percent of my budget. It. That's it. <laughs> All of my budget yeah, on Christina, Andy Christina, Dalton. Christina is literally going to like pay money into the league to add to her fab budget <laughs> to make sure that she gets this. Well, no, that's not that's not go crazy there, uh, Kenny. Right, right, okay. He's he's still Andy Dalton. He is Andy Dalton. Exactly. It's Andy Dalton. It's, you know, but. But he's better than Mike Gusecki. I will not lie. Now, I, there's my Dak Prescott league. I have 71 in fab, and my bid is 71. I have no choice. All of it? I have to. Because what if I don't get him? I don't have another quarterback. My quarterbacks, my quarterback two is Rivers, and my quarterback three is Tua. Oh. Yeah. I don't have a choice. I absolutely must get this player. Yeah. And, I, and the rest of my team, I'm three and two. And I have CMC in that league. The rest of my team is really good. I have AJ Brown, yeah. Cooper Cup, okay. Joe Mixon. So you have to. Right? Yeah, like, I can win a title in this league, mm -hmm. but I've got to get a quarterback. I'm not streaming quarterbacks. It's two quarterback league, right? It's a super so, flex. Oh, so you could put. Yeah, I could put Rivers as my one. If Rivers was any good, I wouldn't feel that bad. But Rivers yeah. is so god awful. Yeah. Boy, is that stupid. On my oh. part. I got to stop drafting old players. I, I, I know this already. But even like, even late, I got to stop drafting old players. Done with <laughs> old players. Anyway. Well, you never know. You never know. Well, Look at uh, Christian he's, Kirk. He's not, Christian Kirk's not old. Oh, never mind. Never Larry mind. Fitzgerald's old. That's, yeah. 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 This is, there's, uh, That's, I mean, Emmanuel Sanders. Here's one. He's old. He's doing yes. good. Some old players work, you know, but for the most part. Yeah. Uh, J.D. McKissick. Interested? Mm. Not really. Yeah, I, I think he's a desperation play if you ask me. Yeah, and and then and then you have Peyton Barber, who's, who's there, not getting anything. Yeah. Who who has two touchdowns this year? Yeah, but he's not getting a, he's not getting carries at all. But he has two touchdowns. Yeah, that was in one game. That was two. That was weeks ago. It's just crazy. Yeah. It's, that's still either that that's a bad offense and it's Gibson's backfield. It's just, yeah. I wouldn't go there. No. No. Thank uh, you. Mike Williams is available in a lot of leagues. He's by this week though. That's true, but. And you, then you is go, Keenan Allen going to be back? Word is that he's going to be back after the bye, but Mike Williams, listen now with that with that gun thrown at him, <laughs> Mike Williams is, might be very viable now. Yeah, but I always like Mike Williams. Like Mike Williams, he, he still had nearly a thousand yards of receiving last year. He just didn't score any touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Like the guy can play. Right. He's just not a volume receiver. He's a, he's like he's kind of a boomer bust receiver. Mm -hmm. And he's but he's forty percent owned. Yeah, no, but he's he, yeah, well, he, but he's still out there in some leagues. I, yeah. I've said definitely have some leagues he's out there. Yeah. So. And now. And now, it is you know. It's not only after midnight on a Wednesday. It's now after midnight on a Thursday morning. Whoa. You get one more day of loving. One more day of loving. Or actually, one less day of loving. Yeah, actually, I don't know how that works. <laughs> I guess it's true. It's one less day. So I'm really needing some loving. You are. How about a little Preston loving? Preston, Le Preston Williams loving. Oh, twenty-two percent owned, but he plays for Miami. He does play for Miami. He only so. had five targets. He had a good game. He only had five targets. Ooh. You interested? No, not really. Wow, doesn't do it for you. You still like guys named Preston? That's what you don't like. I just like guys named Navishka Schnault. <laughs> but it's too late. Well, it's, okay. it's too late for him, guys. Well, how about how about a name? Here's a name of a guy. La Michael P. Ryan. Oh, P. Ryan. P. Ryan. I like that. 
Come on and take a pee ride. It's so stupid. Come on and take a pee ride. <laughs> Sounds dirty. Does it sound dirty? Yeah, no. P Ryan. P Ryan. You interested in that? A little P Ryan? Maybe. I mean, you know, he does have gays, so it's like. Yeah. I don't know how good the guy can be. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Oh, poor guy. I don't want anyone on on yeah. Miami or or the Jets. Sorry. You have an after midnight. I have. I kind of have one. Ooh. Christian Kirk. Ooh. Yeah, that's a. That's a sneaky one. Only 34% owned. He's a little on the higher side, but if he just happens to sneak by after everyone's picking up Mike Williams and Madison and Claypool and yeah. Fulgham and hey, slide into my DMs, slide Christian Kirk. Slide into your DMs. Sister, <laughs> Sister Christian Kirk, all oh, the time has come. <laughs> Google Christian Kirk, okay. Well, there you go. A little sneaky sneaky. A little sneaky sneaky for That's after midnight. Back door. Yeah. Sorry. No, I'm go. done. I'm done. You're done? No more after midnights? <laughs> so what What did you do this week that you need to tell everyone about? Okay. Including me, because I need to hear the story. All right. So, Titans Bills. A lot of concern whether or not this game was going to happen. And I have a league. I have two leagues that I lost because of this. One league where I have Josh Allen, Superflex, Josh Allen, John o. Smith, and Derrick Henry. So we get to the Thursday game, and and the, the Bucks and Bears are playing. And it looks like this game's not going to happen for the Titans. Gronk is out there. So like, you know what? Let me go get Gronk. I'll just play Gronk instead of John o. and I don't have to worry about this. And Gronk, 8.2. Not great. Well, still got you eight points. But now I've still I still got Josh Allen in in the quarterback slot. I've still got uh, Derrick Henry. And then Sunday morning hits, and we hear that a staffer is tested positive for Tennessee. So I'm thinking, okay, they're not playing this game. But they're not playing this game. Well, we but number. again, we didn't know. Like the tw- the the tweet again, we didn't know. Yeah. And it's still a positive test in Tennessee. Where there's been nothing but positive tests. So I pull out Josh Allen. I pull out Derek Henry. I put Kenyon Drake in. I played Justin Jefferson in my super flex. Oh. Because I was afraid to play Josh Allen. I lost. In another league, I had to keep Josh Allen in because it was like, I'm not winning this league without it. So fuck it. So, so, well, I just said it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's all right. So screw it. I'm a, I'll leave him in, but I still pull Jonu out and I play Hayden Hurst. Destroyed. Lesson I'm learning is this. And I've learned, and this is just a fantasy lesson. Stop worrying about taking a zero. Play yes. the guy. Yes. If you take a zero, you take a zero. Yes, exactly. So what? Exactly. Play the guy. Because it is not worth it. Exactly. To get eight points. Just play your guy. If he gets a zero, he gets a zero. Exactly. You're, I mean, you're probably going to lose anyway because right. Allen and Henry and Tannehill are so good that yeah. you're probably going to lose. Right. Even if you plug in. I mean, unless you have these players that are at the same tier as them, right. which you probably don't unless you got lucky and you have Herbert. Or, right. You know, you play Herbert over Allen just to be safe or wh- whatever. But you can't sit them. I'm sorry. I don't care. You can't – I cannot sit Josh Allen. And I have Diggs, too. I, right. I can't sit Josh Allen and Diggs. There's nobody to replace them. Well, here's what I'll say. In a 10-team league, you might be able to find replacements that are sufficient. Maybe. Not, not for Josh Well, no. I, I, I found Justin Herbert in a 10-team league for Josh Allen. I, okay. I, you know All what? Right. I did okay there. You know, like, I could there, – there were, there were a couple tight ends out there you could play. All the tight ends were accessible. In a 12-team league, no. It's just not – it's, again, it's, it's also like – those, those, all those games are like, oh, Mike Evans is questionable today. I better not play him, right? And then he plays him. They don't play him. He gets twenty points on your bench. Right. It's like enough's enough. Like, stop playing scared. I'm talking. I'm talking to myself more than I'm talking to anybody. <laughs> stop playing scared. Play. Play your game. Play to win. Yeah, exactly. Play to win. Don't play not to lose. Mm-hmm. And you know, in a year where I'm having as rough a year as I'm having, 
there are two teams that are now one and four that could have been two and three and on the upswing mm -hmm. and doing all right and now they're one and four and time's running out mm. and so it's just it's brutal you know so not doing that anymore sorry sorry about your loss well you know lessons learned right <laughs> that's it and then they are off on my bench are you f***ing kidding me oh no i i ha i have one too oh yeah i have one too. what do you got so um as some of our listeners know we are in a podcast league here oh yeah and um i am now oh and five are you f***ing kidding me and to make it even worse my bench has 76 points. Actually, 76. 80 points. My bench has over 80 points, and my team scored 81 points. Who do you have on your bench? Chase Edmonds, Claypool, LaVisca Chanel. It, it's just ridiculous. Claypool's getting blowing up on my bench. I'm literally, like, just green like, screaming at the TV. You got to be f***ing kidding Who'd me. Who'd you start over? I started Russell Gage, which I'm never going to do again. No. Ever. Russell Gage is a drop candidate. I point. know. I know. Yeah. Um, well, I have. You didn't know that. I have Chris Carson. I have Zeke. Yeah. I have a good team. Dante Johnson. Well, that's the one that killed you. Killed me. That's a killer. And there's nothing wrong. You can't do anything about there's that. There's nothing I can do. I have Matt Ryan, who's been fairly decent minus yep. the last two weeks. Cooper Cup, who's a great player. I have Zeke, Chris Carson, Zach Ertz, who should have been blowing it up. Kenny Galladay. Oh, Galladay had a, had a bye. Had a bye. Right. So yeah. then on my bench, I had Chase Edmonds, Claypool. Chanel, I have a good team. Why the f*** am I 0-5? It happens. I had it too. What can I do? I have nothing you can do. There's nothing I can do. Nothing you can do. Other than drop Russell Gates. Deontay Johnson is literally destroying my teams because it's one thing to stink it's another thing to get 0 0.8 two weeks in a row no 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 he got 0 0.9 sorry <laughs> sorry but that one game he got oh, a good 23 points that's the thing and you get 13 targets right and the first game he had 10 right so how's um, that i guess this week i'm rolling with i i, I don't even know like do do you even play i mean well, Chenault's going to be in your lineup. <sighs> Gage is out. Chenault's in your lineup. Who are you starting for Carson? Because Carson's on bye. Chase Edmonds. All right. Easy one. Yeah, got no out. Now, I mean, who's your quarterback this week? Well, I have Matt Ryan, who's but on, I don't... Who's on waivers? I wonder if uh, good old Herbert's on waivers. He's not because I have him. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. I would definitely... I probably would play Ryan because maybe they fired the coach and everything will be okay. But if Julio's out... You got it. It really does affect Ryan. There's no doubt. Honestly, Kenny, it doesn't matter. I'm 0 and 5. I'm never going to come back. 0 from this. You can come back from 0 and 5. You absolutely can come back from 0 and 5. Until you get your seventh loss, you were not dead. If you lost five in a row, you can win five in a row. And I do have pretty decent points. Right. I mean, so I'm that not, means I'm no. Not that means in that means points. you don't you don't quit on this. Yeah. 0 and 5 is not death. 0 and 6 is pretty close to death. 0 and 5 is not. You're not dead until you lose your sixth and really your seventh game. Yeah. So yeah, and then dead. there's – I'm not sure who, who SCFF Kings are, but they're also 0-5. Oh, I beat him last week with Herbert. They have – this person has almost 700 points. There is nobody else in the league that has 700 points Sin except C for number one who is 733 points. Sin City Football is his name, yeah. So, yeah, he's, 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 been, he's been rooked, no doubt. It's like – Yeah. There's nothing you can do. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. Sometimes and, you're just a victim of the schedule. Right. And uh, like I'd like to actually quickly talk about our other league, our Vegas Entertainers League, where we have a, a guy in that league who has uh, drafted four quarterbacks. And um, he's in fourth place. Yes, he is. You know why? Because he's found a second running back. Every other week he's got something. Like he's doing, you know, like, and he's, he's all Chiefs. And they can score, right? It's insane. So again, it's proof there are ways to win if that are not traditional, draft. just non-traditional ways to win. Four, he's four. If you nine. pick, I know oh, he beat me. I mean, I got nothing. I really can't fight anybody this year in that league. You know, even if I start, and I sat Josh Allen for that in that league, I still lost. 
would I would I would I would have lost even if I played Josh Allen. Ugh. I got one. I the, really like that league. Yeah, well, yeah, you have good, you have a very good team in that league. Really great. You have a very good team in that league. I got one in the are you uh kidding me? Um I'm just gonna say one word. Fan tracks! Are, are you, you kidding, kidding me? me? Fan oh, tracks. Fan tracks. Killing us, man. I still don't know if I won. <laughs> when, it's Wednesday. When are we gonna know? Fan tracks. <laughs> can't even say it. He's so pissed. Forget it. Oh, sorry. Enough. Song time. It's Wednesday night. It is. Who should you choose? Make the right choice so you win, not lose. <laughs> Kenny. All right, our friend Dennis sent us a ton of stuff. Non PBR. Start two. OBJ, AJ Brown, Michael Gallup, Cole Beasley. That's easy for me. That's, o that's OBJ and AJ Brown. Yes. Not even a question. Yes. Uh, and he wants to know if he should put a claim in for Claypool and Christian Kirk and drop Beasley. In a non PBR, I wouldn't have Beasley on a non PBR. No. No. I absolutely would try to get either one of those. Yes, at least try. Yeah. Claypool first, then Kirk. Yep. Um, full point PBR running backs. Pick two or three from Mike Davis, Derek Henry, Kareem Hunt, Antonio Gibson, Jonathan Taylor, or Devin Singletary. Holy cow. I know. You need to trade one of these. Oh, my God. That is loaded. Well, Mike Davis, Mike you Davis. can't sit. Kareem Hunt, yeah. you can't sit. That's two right there. Right. So and Devin Singletary's out, so it's so it's it's Henry Gibson or, or Taylor. Who are you starting? Hen Henry. Probably Henry. Yeah. Yeah, probably Henry. And then uh, Taylor had a good game this week, and I benched him for yeah, McKinnon. Yeah. I still won the league, but I'm not I'm not gonna play McKinnon anymore. No, no, McKinnon's done. Yeah. Not okay. Until Moster gets hurt, then he's gonna be viable. Yeah. Again. Uh, maybe and pick pick two uh. Of these wide receivers, oh, again, it's Galladay, A.J. Brown, Gallup, and Chanel. I mean, it's, to me, it's Galladay and A.J. Brown. It's not even a question. I mean, yeah. Maybe Chanel if you want, but, yeah. you know. Gallup's just been. Yep. Ugh, Gallup. Killing me, Gallup. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Killing me. So, and then he's got a uh, one-point PPR, Godwin, Galladay, A.J. Brown, and then running backs are Derrick Henry, Mostert, James Robinson, Mike Davis. Oh, my God. You're killing it on RBs. I, I, I mean, I don't know how you're not winning a ton. I mean, Mike Davis does not get sit right yeah, now. Yeah, you cannot sit Mark, Mike Davis. James Robinson, you can't sit, but Derrick Henry is a reason to sit him. Yeah. See, um, and Godwin might not play, so it's Gaudet and A.J. Brown, so that's an easy one there. Yeah, so. you can, and, he, and if, even if he does play, he might be hurt. Right. Did we do the half-point PPR start three? Mike Davis, Kareem Hunt, Aaron Jones, Kenyon Drake. And Zeke. Obviously, you're playing Zeke. You're playing Zeke. You're playing Aaron Jones. You're playing Aaron Jones. Yeah. Probably Mike Davis. You're sitting Drake. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah, that's an easy one for me. I'd sit Drake. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. And then the same team, he has Ertz or Higby. <sighs> Higby at San Fran. Ertz versus Baltimore. Ertz. You can't play Higby right now. Higby is not running routes. Yeah, but they're playing San Fran. But he's not running routes. Like, he's not. Ertz is at least running routes. He may not be getting the ball, but he's but not Ertz, catching the ball. No, but he's but he's still like yeah, he's available. In the game. Like you yeah. can't you can't use a tight end that's not being used. Yeah, right. You can't do it. So now we had talked about I played McKinnon last week, and that was a mistake. Um, but you know I still have on my bench Ronald Jones and Taylor, and I'm toying with them every week. I've I haven't played Ronald Jones once, but he's producing. You have, pick, you have to pick one. Yeah, for my flex, I already have Gibson and Sanders in. I might go Jones. I know. I think I, think I, I go should. Jones over Taylor at this point because Taylor's not getting enough enough uh, play. So Gibson, Sanders, and Jones, unless I put Taylor over Gibson, that's possible. Oy. Gibson's very hit, hit or miss. He's getting a lot of work done, and they're playing the Giants. Oh, yeah, you can't sit Gibson. Ooh. Yeah, but Indiana's playing Cincinnati. Uh, that's true, too. Ugh. Toss a coin. Who's Ronald Jones playing? Green Bay. Green Bay. I like Ronald Jones against Green Bay. Hmm. I mean, it's a good problem to have. Yep. 
All right, here's sit one of these. Here's one for you. Running back. Full point PPR. Sit one. James Robinson. James Conner. Kareem Hunt. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Sit one. You're not sitting Hunt. Nope. You know who right now is uh, is on the out for my those four? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. It is. Yeah. Right now he is. <sighs> who are they playing? Buffalo. James Robinson's playing Detroit. Oy. James Conner is playing Cleveland. We have to. Oh. That's tough, right? I Edward would Tiller, say... The problem with Edward Tiller this year, he's not getting in the end zone. Right. That's I... a problem. I think I would sit Edward Tiller. I might. I very well might. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Good problem to have. Well, said you sit the wrong person. Yeah. So, anywho, we have come to the end of our Wednesday edition of our Vegas Fantasy because it was a Tuesday game. And, of course, we end on a really sad note. Uh, I love this guy. I don't love this team, but I love this guy. I don't love this team either. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, for the guy here today, to Barry in 2020, uh, this poor man, Dak Prescott. Poor Dak. Oh, man. That was hard to watch. You know, we do this segment as a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek thing, but sometimes, man. I mean, we, we had to bury Saquon this year. And now Dak, Dak Prescott. Oh. Boy. God. R.I.P. Hope you come back next year. Yeah. Rest and, in peace, Dak. Yeah, we'll you miss know what you. what to say about that. Poor guy's had a really terrible year. I know. Yeah. We pray for you. We do. <laughs> Absolutely. And on that note, we made it. We did it. Thank you for listening to us on Our Vegas Fantasy this week. Yes. Don't forget to send us your start sick questions next week. Yes. We like those. And indeed. And, uh, you know, download us if you, you don't know where to find us. <laughs> Since you're already listening. You're already listening. <laughs> so, what if you don't? Spotify, <laughs> Apple Podcasts. Tell your friends. If your they dogs. want more mediocre fantasy football advice, you know where to find it. <laughs> I'm Kenny Davidson. And I'm Christina Shaw. See you later. Bye.